Hi, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we will be discussing about theorem number 12 being angles in the same side of a segment are congruent if the angles are subtended by the chord. So firstly, um, say we have this ano, um, figure, this circle, uh, the white one. Okay. Um, let's, let's first recall what is a segment. Segment is just simply a portion of a circle divided by the chord. So this would be this area here. This area here is a segment. So goes with this area here and this entire area and this also area here. Okay, they are segments. So meaning is just like having a pie and not cutting it in the middle. Okay, so and also remember um, we have the thing we call the sectors. Okay. This is a sector, just also another area within a circle, okay? So, um, wait lang, sorry, let me redo that. Okay, so yeah. So, knowing the sector, I, the sector and segment, so we have the segment, of course. Um, by definition, on theorem 12, it simply states that all the given angles on one side of the sec segment, being all the angles on this side, this angle theta here, and also this angle theta here, if they are subtended by this chord, take note by this chord they are congruent and what the, why why am i emphasizing if they are subtended because you can also have an angle here right which is this is a central angle okay so maybe we can say basically is that all inscribed angles okay on the same side of the segment are congruent and yeah all inscribed angles okay so for us to further understand this one Let's have our um, example on GeoGebra. Okay? Let me delete this one kasi medyo complicated na yung itsura niya. So let's make it look at like our figure. So remember class that we have this given circle and it is said that um, this is circle is divided by the CB, segment CB. And this segment CB would be our um, divider na chord and our segments would be this from CB here segment c um segment cb and then we have cdb okay so we have this very big part here and then we have this small part here and you would notice that this given angle d and angle e they are on this side of the segment meaning we can say that they are on the same side and by the theorem we said that they must be congruent and let's check because this is geogebra means we can um, determine the exact and precise measurement of this angle so let's try to see. Is it correct? So this is 62.64, meaning the angle E should also also be 62.64. Okay, and of course it will never fail us. Every given angle, inscribed angle that would be on the same side of our segment, would be congruent. And kahit sa ko even if I bring it here or here, it would be the same. And even if I will create another segment on our circle by measurement again it would also be the same okay so what would happen if i bring it on the other side if i bring it on the other side i will need another measurement because this is the external angle if i would have another angle it would be bigger it would be different because that is the, that is the property of theorem number uh, the 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 concept about theorem number 12 that any given angle on the same side would be the same and this is on the other side of the segment so it would of course not be the same so maybe let's try to create a segment here on this side and of course based on that theorem we can assume that this angle g would be the same as this angle 117 degrees and of course it is kasi nga it's a theorem it's a proven theorem actually that the measure of any given angle, long as they are on the same side of the segment, they would be congruent. And of course, yes, they are congruent. Even if I will change this one, the length of the segment, they would be adjusting as well. They would be the same. Okay? So notice here, I changed the segment here. Okay? So this would be the same. Ano? Okay? So sorry, I'm just making it a little bit confusing. Remember, our segment is still segment CB. So let me remove this one. Yeah. Okay, so if I would put it here, they would be different na kasi nga um, they are not on the same side. Okay? So that would be theorem number 12. I hope that it's clear. 
kasi based on our example okay the proof of this one would be of course um uploaded in a different time but this would be the example okay and what is the implication of this theorem the implication is this if ever that you would see a chord and inscribed angles always assume that they are already congruent even if you would not know the measurement again if you would see even if it's multiple seg um, angles on one side of a segment assume that they are always congruent no don't ask anymore why it's just the thing um about theorem number 12 okay so if you have any other questions you can uh, view the video again or you can chat me in our chat box thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh